Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The XRP price is currently around 48.9 cents. And I think people's levels of irritation have reached new heights. People keep telling me that XRP will never be used for anything, and that the price would never move above $1 on the next run. People have stopped believing. However, there is something I must stress again. At the outset, we've got answers. We are currently witnessing the global simultaneous emergence of the new financial system. We can stop wondering if a new financial order is on the horizon. This is not the case, rather, it is transpiring at this very now. Timely manner. In the future, money will be transferred between CBDCs in any country preparing to launch one, thus pricing out retail transactions. There is no possible future in which XRP doesn't see a meteoric rise. With a big wedge having formed over the past seven years and a settlement in sight, I am more optimistic than I have ever been about this coin. The first transparent coin that works perfectly everywhere and solves all the world's problems. So what else is there to say? Over the next year or two, this thing will become absolutely bonkers. I've noticed that, too. Some think the deck is stacked against us in this system. The value of XRP will never rise above $1. I guarantee it. However, we must keep in mind that this is precisely the period when they are trying to rattle us. I'm not wanted here, they don't want us to grow rich off of XRP, so don't hold it. At first glance, XRP can appear to be a steady coin that never changes value. Despite this, XRP has a history of being extremely volatile, making it a poor 2016 2 investment. 2017 40 cents cents 2018 $3.80 20 2017 cents 2021 $2 2023 right now, we're at 50 cents. I wish the explosion would just end already. And you have to expect that? It is plain to see, in fact, it is before your very eyes due to the fact that everything is falling into place. Most of the 4.8 million XRP wallets have less than 500 XRP in them. How does this bode well for worldwide implementation? Everyone always says they need to get an XRP ball, but nobody ever does. However, this has nothing to do with commercial trade. The point is that in the future, XRP will be used by institutions in many countries to facilitate cross-border transfers of funds. But you should know that today, everyone is living in the here and now. Because tempers are running hot right now. Keep in mind that after the dust settled and everyone saw the light, most people expected us to instantly surpass $10. When that didn't happen, they got angry, and they're still angry now. I believe, however, that once this matter is finally resolved, XRP will experience unprecedented growth. Get it up there, the director of Ripple has revealed that all XRP stored in their escrow could be destroyed. And this occurs on a regular basis today. The burning of the escrow is the talk of the town. Look at what occurred with excellent Bernie escrow to see why that won't benefit me or you. This is not meant as an attack on XLM, rather, it is an attempt to clarify certain misconceptions. Consider this. Stellar has underperformed XRP in the absence of SEC intervention, despite having burned 50% of the supply and still holding 50% of the supply without escrow. Even if they destroyed the escrow and the XRP, I believe the current situation would persist. The Catch-22 my prediction for the future is that the people who own the most XRP will be able to influence the market. For the same reason, once BlackRock starts investing in Bitcoin, the price will never go on a run like we've seen before since they'll keep manipulating it. That's why I think Ripple's hands are exactly where the escrow should be for XRP. The XRP community has heard rumors that the Federal Reserve may stop selling XRP to individual investors. That's so absurd it's not funny. Consider this. These markets have recently relisted XRP. Do you really believe the Fed wouldn't have tried to get in touch with these exchanges and possibly passed a legislation making it so they couldn't sell XRP if they didn't want us to have it? XRP made an effort to halt the situation. 
but I anticipate a moment when demand for on-demand liquidity makes it difficult to buy XRP at the same time you sell it. The Fed may not care if you or I buy XRP now, but they will once XRP becomes the dominant currency for monetary transactions. What will tonight's message bring, I wonder? Puzzle me out. The first of those eight biblical messages was sent out on October 1st. Is what we're seeing the seven signals that add up to seven trumpets? Let me explain why I make this assertion. That would place us on the weekend of November 19th if the current trend holds. The 20th, and now ISO is finally live? Can it be a coincidence, though? Keep going? It's odd that it coincides with ISO. Is someone trying to tell us that the US dollar will soon die of debt? I anticipate a CBDC in the USA once ISO is fully operational, I'll explain why. Since other nations are developing the CBDC, how will the United States interact with them in the future if the dollar is not digitalized? Trades, payments, and even monetary transactions are all moving online, and yet the United States has no plans to lead the way. They will, of course. Without help, students risk falling behind in countless ways. However, I do think fiat and digital money will coexist for a reasonable amount of time, probably two to three years. Paper currency's utility will dwindle as time goes on. And that's how it'll fade away over time. It's also possible that they'll come up with schemes to phase out paper currency by, for example, refusing to accept it at some retailers. They've got a plan, so chill out, I guess I should be more careful about sharing Forbes now that this piece has over 100k views. Don't learn the facts before the XRP gold rush hits. And as you can see, the collapse of the US currency has startled a trillion dollar forecasted Fed inflation flip, leading to a significant price increase in Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and other cryptocurrencies that rivals that of gold. And that was predictable given their inability to curb expenditure. In addition, China is aiming to de-dollarize the United States by sending back all of its reserves of US dollars. People may not invest their money in the stock market unless they have a lot of money and use this stock trading, but I think as the US currency declines, a lot of that money will stream into crypto. The typical person who has a 9-to-5 job is more likely to invest in cryptocurrency than in any other asset class because of the potential returns. Even if the currency were to collapse, people still questioned me how they'd afford to care for everyone living in the country. In other words, this would follow a guaranteed minimum income. And you're actively working to make this happen. People of working age can apply for universal credit, a single benefit payment that will replace several others with the hope of streamlining the process here. 71,000 families will be impacted by that change. The Department of International Communities will send out letters to individuals in the form of migration notices. But in the future, everyone who is financially strapped will be subjected to the same fate, either the universal basic income or the universal monthly income, both of which will eventually run out of money. Money that is not used by the end of the month is lost and a new payment is issued at the beginning of the next month, and by then, they'll have figured out how to restrict your spending with it, I'm sure. If they have such detailed information, there's no use in my filing taxes, they can just send me a charge or a refund at the end of the year. In the past decade, Americans owe a whopping $688 billion in unpaid taxes. The IRS claims things will eventually alter. I get to meet a lot of people in my line of work. And I've talked to people outside of the crypto world who are just as frustrated as I am that their tax dollars aren't being put to good use. The roads and other infrastructure in the United States may not look great, but if you're a citizen here, you know what? Instead, more money is being poured into it, and it's slowly disintegrating. Meanwhile, major city violence is at an all-time high. Then, we send the funds abroad. Who knows what will happen now that we're connected with Israel? This is a topic that's getting a lot of attention. Biden's activities raise concerns about a potential third world war and an accompanying military draft. Now, I decided to Google the topic and see if I could locate an updated news story on the subject. True or false? There isn't any. Those are merely wild speculations. 
and talk travels fast, especially when it concerns a draft. Even in the comments, some are discussing how they won't let their children sign up for the draft. And I have my doubts as to whether or not we will enter World War III. I still believe a monetary war to be ongoing. They realize the United States is in jeopardy, so I think this whole thing is a ploy to keep the currency strong. Take a look at the financial system. That's something I covered in yesterday's video. However, conventional financial institutions are only interested in keeping you tied to their savings products and services so that they may continue to profit from your deposits. And you can bet that the old approaches will never, ever make you as much money as crypto will, particularly if you invest in cryptocurrency that is driven by usefulness. As for where XRP goes from here, I have no idea. But I do think we're headed for the digits in the next run-up. When that moment arrives, we'll have to consider not only the historical context, but also the current events unfolding in the real world simultaneously. However, this is one coin that I intend to hold on to for as long as I can. That is to say, I have no intention of ever selling it. I'm hoping to find a way to make it so that it brings in money by itself. I'm watching for new retail opportunities to arise so that we may use it. That way, we wouldn't have to pay tax on our capital gains. Someone else mentioned that also, below in the comments. However, until then, we need to maintain optimism and patience. Join me in amassing wealth. I think I'll end this now. Please accept my gratitude for tuning in. Thank you so much, everyone. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.